If you want all the power of Mixpanel without the tech hurdles, keep watching. So what you're gonna do, if you're just logging into your Mixpanel account, you'll probably see a video here with a get set up button over here. So I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to name this one of our other websites. All right, so this is probably what you'll be seeing. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to set up now. And you're going to grab this code here. Copy that. Then you're going to go over to Google Tag Manager. If you don't have an account, create an account. It's free. And what you want to do is you want to create a container. And again, we're just going to name this the website name. And for me, I'm creating this for web. Create. Now we have our tag. We don't need that just now. What we need to do is we need to create a new tag in this container. And what Google Tag Manager is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to put one tag on all of your pages. That way you can just add your mixed panel codes to that or any other codes, your retargeting codes, all that stuff. So it will make mixed panel much easier for you. So, okay, we've created our container. Now we're going to click new tag. And we want a custom HTML tag. We will write X panel in here. Paste in that code. We want to click on continue. And then we want this to run on all pages. And then we want to click on continue again. All right, so now we have the code placed into our container. Now we need another code. You'll notice that it's not tracking anything yet because we haven't even put any codes on the page, but you're gonna need another code. You need to be able to place this code on your pages before Mixpanel will actually start tracking anything. So uh, a good uh, cheat way to do this without having to know any JavaScript is go on over to the Help Center go here to where it says tutorial tracking your first event and they have a section here where the code's already written out for you and we'll just modify this code here we're going to hit copy and we're going to make a new code a new tag inside of our tag manager and this one's custom html this one is going to be mix panel page view tracker so we're going to paste in that code that we copied and we can get rid of a lot of this in here. Let me go back up to here. And what we really want to do is we just want to change this to page view. All right. Now we're going to click continue. We are going to click fire on all pages and we're going to click on continue again. So we have our basic mixed panel code, which is just watching for everything. And then we've got our page view tracker code. Now that we have both of our tags, what we need to do is we need to go and install the Google Tag Manager code. So for that, we're going to go to admin. We're going to make sure we're on the right website. Click install Google Tag Manager. And we're going to copy this code. Go log into your website, I'm using WordPress, go into where you, whatever theme you're using, wherever you would normally install your Google Analytics or retargeting. For me, that's a, a Thrive theme that I'm using, and I'm gonna go into the Analytics and Scripts section, and I'm going to paste this into the body, and then hit Save All Changes. Now, the last thing that I need to do is I need to go back over to my container and I need to publish. I didn't get any errors, so everything is done. And so now if we go back into Mixpanel, we should start to see that it's getting, yep. What I'll do is I will set this to live view and I will go and view this site, click on one of the posts, and then we can see that the page views are coming in. 
So now we'll be able to use regular Google UTM links to start tracking where our, tracking, our traffic is coming from. You can track any clicks from your website to other websites. You can use it just as you would use any other tracking program and you can start to see this. And this is the easiest way to just get Mixpanel going. And there's a lot more that it can do and you can always hire a consultant to do more or figure it out yourself. But this is the easiest way to get things launched within just a couple of minutes. If you like this video and you want more marketing tips, please subscribe to my channel.